Yeah. I want to play the music low. Maybe they won't. Uh, maybe they don't want to mess with me. <laughs> so, yeah, so. I think that we don't use our brains. We don't use the abilities that God gave us. Or the the universe. What if God is the universe? Ooh, you ever think about that? Or if God created the universe and there's another parallel universe just like this one. Have you ever looked at the Hubble telescope? Images from the Hubble telescope. It's kind of freaky. If that's real, you know. Some of my friends, they believe that Earth is flat. It's like a, it's like this fear over us. I don't know. Maybe that's true too. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty intelligent. I'm intelligent enough to know that I don't know shit. <laughs> I know a lot more than most of y'all. I know that. <laughs> On the streets, girl, she's my companion. Walk through her hills, cuz knows who I am. Sees my good deeds and she kisses me when day. I never worry, now that is a lie. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. When do you sleep, bro? I slept for like four or five hours. I just popped up. Like, it was just really weird. My boy needed to talk. I told him to pray. Said God hears everything, man. He's omnipotent. To believe that nobody out there hard to believe that I'm all alone. What's up, Ron T? See that she loves me. Only as I am. Kill the cry. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. Under the bridge downtown. Them peppers, boy. That's all right. I love them peppers, man. I, was, I started back listening to this stuff when I was out in Cali, man, when I was in San Fran. Kind of gotten that vibe, you know? Listen to that type of vibe, music, where that, this type of music, where it, it came from, you know, the West Coast grunge era. I used to not be into it big time, but once I moved out there, I really got into it. Oh, see, you know, Ron T from out there, too. Be going over to Gate Bridge, listening to Chili Peppers on the way to work. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I liked it, man. It's beautiful out there. The weather is beautiful. But, yeah, man, we come, we coming on some crazy times right now, man. Well, we don't know what's going on, and a lot of people are hurting, and a lot of people are scared, and I'm not scared. I really am. I'm not, like, just, I'm kind of excited, you know? I'm excited about what's to come, you know? And some people are saying there's just going to be a change. 
there's just gonna be a ch there's a there's a change coming there's a light coming there's a you know a illumination coming and you know people are saying that this is just uh the difference in uh prophecy and a bible that talks about uh it talks about uh It talks about um, that angel of light and angel of darkness, I think it is. And uh, it talks about uh, a beast of light and a beast of darkness. You know, like, and the beast of darkness is the globalist right now. That's the Democrats, y'all. The bad guys, the Illuminati, the satanic cult that has been over, that's ruled over this earth for thousands of years. The rich people, the Bilderbergs, the Rockefellers, the, what's that family's name? The Vanderbilts, the Morgans. Yeah. Those families, uh, all those Jewish families. You know, it goes back. It, if, you, if you study history, man, it goes back, those same people the same people that run that run the whole globalist system were sacrificing babies and children and shit and drinking their blood and shit way back then when they were when Israel when when the Israelites were were roaming in the desert for 40 years and why were they doing that because they wouldn't listen to God they were stupid we're stu we, men are stupid we, man is stupid Pretty much. That's what the Bible says. Paraphrased, that's that's the Cliff's notes on the Bible. Man is stupid. Shut up, do what I tell you to do. You're too dumb to understand me or my omnipotent ways. That's that's what that's what the Bible says. Paraphrase. Shut up, do what I tell you to do. <laughs> Uh, we can't think on a supernatural realm, so it's hard for us to see things on a supernatural realm. So that's why things are the way they are, and they'll continue to be the way they are. Messed up. So I don't know. Y'all pray for my boy Gabe Wood. Gabe Wood, and uh, I'm gonna get back on a conversation with him for a minute. But I was just, you know, I woke up. I was brainstorming brainstorming and just making all these notes and stuff. All these notes for my YouTube channel that this pretty young lady's gonna help me with. Um, starting Tuesday, to start getting everything ready for court. And um, I'm doing this shit, man. About to start writing my book. Doing everything, like, you know, everything's manifesting. And uh, I'm living, you know, I'm gonna live my dreams. I'm gonna, you know, continue to move forward and live life prosperous. And uh, God's gonna expand my territory. This is this book that I read a long time ago? It's a little book. You should check it out. It's, uh, it's called A Prayer. A Prayer of Jabez. And it's in the Bible. But this is a book about it. This is it. Bruce Wilkinson wrote it. A little short book. It's a badass little book though. And it, and it talks about saying this prayer every day. And uh, Jabez prayed this prayer. Here it is. Clearly, the outcome can be traced to his prayer. Something about Jabez, Jabez's simple, direct request to God changed his life. And let... <laughs> Some female's hair, that ain't my hair. <laughs> the hell? I ain't got no hair like that. Uh, direct request of God changed his life and left a permanent mark on the history books of Israel 
the prayer was, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil. That's it. It's a big prayer. It's awesome. That you would bless me indeed. That you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. That just means like everything that I do, that it be enlarged, multiplied. And uh, that's what I pray. I pray that right now over myself and over my brothers and sisters that share this with me, over my children, over my family. I know, God, you're going to bring me a beautiful wife. And the last was just a learning a learning situation and it, you know it's just going to teach me to appreciate what I have more and she wasn't the perfect girl for me but you have the perfect girl for me God and I know that and I believe that <clears throat> and we all have that special person out there for us but sometimes we got to work through things through our life and through ourselves and learn things about ourselves and about life before we can uh, before we can meet that person you know what I mean so uh, once again I ask everybody to pray for my boy Gabe Wood man he just hit me up going through some things you know and he was like oh, I can't sleep I was like me neither it's weird I slept for like three or four hours maybe five I don't know oh, you took a sleeping pill though I'm gonna go to sleep till at least noon Otherwise, I'll be whooped. I only got four. I, I, y'all be working on four hours sleeping shit. I don't know how y'all do that. I got to give me eight hours minimum. Minimum. Ten's better. Twelve's awesome. <laughs> shit. But I got sleep admin. I got to get my machine working properly. It's not working right not giving me enough oxygen. And that shit messes with you too. Your brain and stuff. Probably why I'm so damn ADD. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, shit, I don't forget what I was talking about. That medicine probably kicking in. Um, yeah, we everybody's going through stuff right now. Everybody's struggling. A lot of people are. I don't know if it's everybody, but a lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are like, like, what the hell is going on? I don't know, you know. Is it aliens? Is it God? Is it Jesus coming back? Is it God come to destroy the earth? Are we are we in the middle of a rapture? I know it seems like there's a lot less people around right now. Why did God be in rapture me yet? Some dude said last night on Facebook that, like, he was like, <sighs> we're going through a change right now. And either, you know, I had saw something about, I had seen something about, like, the fourth dimension and we're moving over from, like, a third dimension to a fourth dimension. And, like, it's just a different way of verbalizing things. That's all. You know? Our Bible talks about that, and we're going to move over to, like, a, a lighter age and stuff. So, a lot of people think, a lot of people think that um, we're going to move from, like, the cabal, which is the Illuminati, which have been ruling the, ruling the earth for thousands of years since, since Israel, you know, was walk, walking around in the desert in circles lost and they were sacrificing animals and humans human sacrifices and stuff to Baal and Moloch and they still do that all those Bilderberg families and stuff Vanderbilt's look up Pizzagate check that shit out like uh What's that lady's name? I wish I could remember that lady's name. I never can remember the name of that video. Um, Not Out of Shadows. That's a good one. 
But when you start learning about Pizzagate and you look at the people involved and you see all the pictures of all the Obama and um, the Clintons and all these people at this pizza place and then you look at their website, they have an encrypted website, like if somebody broke it, they had a hacker break into their stuff and they're like advertising kids. And there's videos, there's like pictures of kids on ping pong tables like laid out like drugged on ping, pa- ping pong tables. It's like a ping pong pizza or something like that in Washington, D.C. And the dude that owns it is a Rothschild. Hmm. What was his name? They're all Jews. They're all from the original, like, tribe of Judah and shit. God's chosen people. But he talks about them like going off. So you got like God's people, like the the Christians, like some people got it and some people don't, I guess, you know? So anyway, those people are still like, that's what all of this sex trafficking stuff has got to do with the human trafficking. It all has to do with that. They're like harvesting blood from children, which helps them stay young. The whole vampire thing, that's true. It's a real story. It's just, uh, what do you call it? It Over-exaggerated. When you kill a child, when you're killing them, their brain releases an adrenaline called adrenochrome. And if you drink that blood, it will make you, it will get you higher than any high you could ever imagine. The greatest high, and that's why all these actors are all like strung out looking right now because they took their adrenochrome from they were shutting down all of these child trafficking. It's crazy shit. Nobody wants to believe it because it's so far from the truth. It's called cognitive dissonance. Your brain kicks it out. You don't want to believe it. It's too far fetched from our reality. But. Yeah. It's insane, I know. But so maybe that's just gonna change and we're gonna come into like a uh, a light, a phase of light. And Trump is gonna be, you know, they're just changing things. A lot of things are gonna be changed and things are gonna be better. And uh, like, we're gonna, they're gonna wipe away debt, you know. Uh, Nassar. And it might not be called Nassar, but a lot of the things have already been fulfilled through Nassar. Um, so it looks like that's what they're going to do. You know, the money system's changing. The debt will probably be wiped away. The personal debt will be wiped away. Like, everything is changing. Um, and it's like they're setting the scene for all of that stuff to happen. So I'm hoping that, you know, that I have more time on this earth with my kids but just be, just be like aware, be, be super, uh, what do you call it? Like hypersensitive to everything going on your, on your, around you right now, because a lot of things are happening and we don't know, you know, exactly what's happening and don't be afraid because God did not give us a spirit of fear. You know, he doesn't want you to be afraid. It says, do not be afraid 365 times in the Bible. 365 times. So, you're not so, we're not supposed to be afraid. And I used to live in a spirit of fear. And that was part of the reason why I quit MMA, other than for my wife, was because I was, a, I was scared. I was fighting scared, you know? And I shouldn't have been. I should have been having a lot more fun when I was doing, but I allowed fear to control my brain. And I, I didn't fight at the, high, at the highest level that I could have fought at because... I was fighting scared. So, if I do, probably not, but if I do go back to fighting, I'll probably uh, have a whole different mindset. I'm only 39. Some of the best heavyweights in the world fight well into their 40s, so I might have a few few fights left in me. Maybe. Had to, had to run to the, to the mailbox and back first. <laughs> 
But, uh, yeah, man. Crazy times. I'm just taking advantage of all of this and, you know, creating a YouTube channel, writing a book. And um, young ladies going to start helping me on Tuesday. I'm going to have a personal assistant on Tuesday. I've had several girls flake out on me. But this chick's pretty badass, so I'm, uh, itch I'm excited about having somebody who can keep me focused and keep my mind on doing what I need to do and getting all these lawsuits started and be suing the shit out of a bunch of people. Probably going to be in litigation for quite a while. But I'll definitely be a multimillionaire when I win these, when this either settlement, hopefully they'll just all get together and be like, look, we need to pay this dude off. If they made me fight for it, so be it. <clears throat> I'm just going to sue them for way more money if they do that. Big deal. So y'all need to get y'all shit together. I'm 10 million. I'll take 10 million, not a penny less, or we can go for way more. Problem is, if y'all have to pay the Fed, if the parish has to pay the Fed, they're gonna have to pay the Fed like a hundred million dollars. So I would just prefer that they, the Fed and them handle their own business and they just pay me 10 million and I, that's a very f fair price for what they owe me. So, um, you know, and I'll sign non-disclosure and I'll shut up. I won't talk about it anymore, you know? pretty fair and me and my boys can go hunting and fishing for the rest of our lives all over the world to go to Romania I paid six thousand dollars for a hunt in Romania I didn't get to go to because I was working for PG&E in California making a thousand dollars a day and I couldn't quit my job or ask for two and a half weeks off man I wanted to go to Romania stag hunt anyway I'm getting tired. Just wanted to, uh, just wanted to share my thoughts. Everybody be hyper alert and set hypersensitive to everything that's going on around you and just accept it. Don't be afraid. Cause whatever it is, God's got your back. But definitely pray. I was telling Gabe earlier, you know, he said, I'm going through this. And I was like, man, just stop what you're doing, breathe, and pray. Stop, breathe, pray. Speak. Speak your prayers. Not Hail Mary, full of grace. Not speak to God in your own words. Do not chant. Do not um, say the same thing over and over again. The Bible, God tells you specifically not to do that. Jesus told us specifically not to do that. So for my Catholic friends, just FYI, there's a little, a little tidbit of information for you. You're not supposed to do that. God told us not to do it. Jesus told us not to do it. I know most of y'all don't know, really know the Bible. Um, but it specifically tells you not to do what the Catholic priests tell you to do. Say 12 our, uh, our fathers and 15 Hail Marys and you're forgiven. That is not the way it works. That is not what, that's not what Jesus said. He said you go into your prayer closet, into your safe place where it's quiet. Jesus talked to God in the cool of the morning. Right now, we are in the cool of the morning. I was just thinking about that. That was really cool. We got up at like 4 30, 5 o'clock. And I was like, wow. It's like God just woke me up, like, boom. In the cool of the morning. That's when God, God honors that. When you get up early in the morning and you pray. <clears throat> I used to do that all the time. And when you can't pray, that's when the tongues comes in. You just like babble. And God knows what you're saying because sometimes your, sometimes your spirit, you can't say it, but your spirit can say it. And you just let your tongue, your tongue just whatever rolls off of it. You can practice and stuff like that, but that's something you do by yourself, not in front of a bunch of people.
you don't know what to say, or just say, God, just answer my prayers. I don't know what to say, but I need you. It's just as simple as that. I need you, God. Please help me. Please save me. Please give me eyes to see and ears to hear. Let no weapon formed against me prosper. Form a hedge of protection over my family and me. Save us. Give us clarity, wisdom beyond our years. Blessings. Expand my territory. Keep me from evil. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Yeshua, Jehovah. Amen. Love y'all. Man, I had a really awesome time with my boys. I went to post some of the videos. I like to let them watch. Uh, like I've never really showed them my videos of me fighting or anything like that. So they never see me fight. So they don't really know how bad, how much of a badass their daddy is. So I just figured in all of this time of this alienation that their mom's been doing to me, um, you know, she's just really evil. Straight up evil. Oh, I'm getting ready to post something too. People might not like me for it, but it's got to be done. If anybody knows Molly Bonfiglio, she needs to get in touch with me. I got some information that she might want to see. Molly Bonfiglio, she's a teacher, I think, at uh, Holy Ghost. So if you know her, tell her. Get in touch with her and tell her to call me. My number's all over my page. <clears throat> and uh, I'm getting ready to post something here. Yeah, it's algorithms. It's science. It's not bullshit. It's algorithms. Algorithms are science. It's numbers. That's it. They don't make, algorithms don't make mistakes. It's like one plus one equals two. Or is it three? <laughs> yeah. But a lot of crazy shit's happening right now and I was like scared and stuff and now I'm just like happy and I'm uh, excited for the future and I really hope God's gonna give us some more time on this earth. I hope that the end, end days will be like at least 2030, so I have some time to do some cool things on this earth because I don't feel like I've done nearly enough. I've, I've done a lot of things, but I don't, I don't think that I've done enough for the people and for the kingdom. And so I plan on doing a lot more in a short period of time. So I really pray and hope that we have some kind of peace. I hope that August 28th is not a uh, and a day of anarchy and I just saw a post that um that Trump made on Twitter about all of these riots and the police are not doing anything and he's saying I'll bring in a national guard I mean that's what nobody wants that nobody wants that bring in a national guard you know what that means you know come in here and be trying to take my guns and shit I'm going to vote for you, Trump, but don't be sending no damn uh, officers in my house. That three and a half inch uh, buckshot over there, double off buck. Them helmets can't stop that. But tell them some bitches, stay away from 13th Street. I mean, that's all I'm telling. Tell them, stay away from my house. We good over here. We got neighborhood watching everything. <clears throat> All right, man. God bless y'all. I'll talk to you like later on today. Oh, I might go to YouTube today. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. The girl's going to show me how to do it when she gets here. Go ahead to like go live on YouTube and live on Facebook at the same time. Where I go live on YouTube and then post it. To Facebook. I don't know. 
but I got to get a bunch of followers. I got to pay for some program or something like that. Get legitimate followers and um, do that first. Get the word out. We got tons and tons of typing, auto dictating to do. A lot of a lot of shit to do. But we had a divine appointment this morning, me and Gabe. So y'all pray for Gabe just as his peace of mind for his salvation, and um, and be you know you know keep thought positive energy thoughts prayers with him and what he's going through. And I pray for y'all and what you're going through right now. That God just gives you a peace in your mind and your heart and your spirit. Um, his peace that only He can bring. I pray that over you right now in the name of Jesus. Jehovah. Yahweh. I pray that over you right now. Whatever you're going through. That God deals with it. He's been dealing with mine. He's given God's given me a spirit of joy. Man, I had such a good time. My boys yesterday. I think I started to say this. We were watching all the videos. And I was showing them like some of my longer fights and some of the like real quick knockouts and stuff. And they were just like, whoa. Our dad was a badass. He is a badass. I am a badass. I don't care what nobody says. Care what none of y'all bitches say. You just need me a pretty girl now. I've been single long enough. Tired of being a player. I don't want to be a player no more. They got to find someone I can live my life for. All right. Love y'all. God bless you. Godspeed. Boom. God bless America. What's up, Craig? What's up, Craig?